welcome to today's vlog. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru. <laughs> um, I got a car mount, can you guys tell? I <laughs> finally did it. Um, I was aware that my car vlogging bothered some people and it wasn't safe. Although, granted, I was never looking at the camera while I was doing it. It still wasn't safe. So I finally got a car mount, so you're welcome. Getting some coffee and I'm going to get my hair done. I'm excited. I haven't had my hair done since September of last year. So like nine months, nine-ish months, yeah. So it's overdue, it's very overdue. So I'm excited, I'm gonna do like a little, little balayage. Just wanted to vlog because I had it in a while, just like a normal, just a normal life vlog. So welcome to today. I got a drink at, at a Starbucks that is super popular on TikTok right now. I got it the other day and it was really good. So I'm like, I'm gonna get it again. But last time I got it, I got a venti. So it's the order on TikTok is a venti iced coffee with four pumps white mocha and sweet cream. And it was delicious. Obviously, it's full of sugar. But I wanted to get it again, but I'm like, I don't really want a venti. I can never finish a venti coffee. I don't know why. It's just it's a lot. So I got a grande. So I altered it and I said, I want a grande iced coffee with two pumps white mocha and sweet cream. So it should be good. Hopefully. I'll do a little taste test to let you guys know. That's what we're doing today. Doing this. Getting my hair done. So the girl that does my hair is about... 30 minutes away, kind of by where I used to live. All right, we're getting our drink. Hi. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. What's that for you? Thank you. And then you can go ahead and remove your card. Perfect. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So, anyways, like I was saying, um, once I get my hair done, it's kind of by where I used to live, which is oh, 30, 40 minutes away, but worth the drive because. I don't really trust anyone else with my hair. All right, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. I always wonder if baristas like get an influx of these orders when like TikTok comes out with like some kind of new craze. This is delicious though. After I get my hair done, I am going to order Chinese food for lunch. <laughs> So my absolute favorite Chinese restaurant is over by where my hair place is and obviously we've been in quarantine so like going out to eat has been like a no-no and I haven't wanted to do curbside pickup from somewhere that's 40 minutes away. So I'm over here, I was like, I told Anthony, I'm like, should I get some for lunch for us? And he's like, yeah. So we're just having like, you know, a best the best Tuesday ever. We're doing Starbucks, we're getting our hair done, we're getting Chinese food. It's just gonna be a good time. And then I want to, if I have time, I am kind of on a time crunch. I have to be back home like working by like noon. So hopefully I can do all of this before 12 o'clock. But I also wanted to pop in my PO box. It's also really close to where I get my hair done. And I want to close it. Um, it's coming up for its annual renewal. I've had this PO box for about I think this is two years straight and now that it's farther away it just I just feel like closing it so I don't know so I'm gonna go see if I can do that return like the key or whatever I don't know like not only is the PO box far away but I guess I always just kind of felt a little weird about it like I know I love when people write me letters that's definitely my favorite um, but I felt like a little guilty whenever they would like send me gifts which like so was never necessary but like extremely kind and I just I never want to be like one of those YouTube people that's like send me merch send me stuff I'll do P.O. box unboxings on my channel like it's just never something I've been interested in I don't know so I'm gonna close it down and I don't plan on getting a new one so if you feel like sending me a letter that bad shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll give my address and pray that you don't come stop me <laughs> so anyways okay I'm gonna drive to get my hair done enjoy this wonderfulness I'll see you at the hair salon
hair box. Okay, new hair is who this? I'm obsessed! Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So I got it balayaged. If you can't tell, obviously it's so much lighter. Got a trim, got some layers. I feel like a new person. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just went and closed my P.O. box. Very sad. But I had a package in there from the UK. So I was gonna open it really quick just to see. My final package from my P.O. box. Got a card, I'll read that first. Oh, it's really cute. It says, it's unfair, so damned unfair, and there's nothing that I can do to take the pain away. Yeah, this is a very personal card. I'm not gonna read this out loud. But there's also something in it. Oh, this is beautiful. It says, the world may never notice if a snowdrop doesn't bloom or even pause to wonder if the petals fall too soon. But every life that ever, every life that ever forms or even comes to be touches the world in some small way for eternity. Oh, now I'm gonna cry. And it's a, it's a little angel. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little angel. That was so thoughtful. Thank you so much to the beautiful soul that sent me this. Uh, Bernadette, wow. This is really sweet and kind of the perfect thing to receive as I closed my PO box. You guys are amazing and I'm so appreciative of all of you. So, with that said, I ordered Chinese food and I'm gonna go pick it up and take it home and move along with this day. Look who I found. What's up? <laughs> What's up? It's much later now and we're going to get some dinner. Oh, we're bad oh. eating out two meals in a row. Oh. Yikes. Anyways, before we get to our destination for some grub, I wanted to tell you guys I got back some of the blood test results that I had done for some recurrent pregnancy loss testing. Um, so far, no answers have been found. We got the results from my antiphospholipid test, which came back negative. The lupus anticoagulant test also came back negative. Um, uh, the results for karyotyping still aren't in yet, but they said those can take a while, so no results on that, but the hunt continues. I'm trying not to get too discouraged because in the beginning phases, I'm trying to find this out with this doctor. Obviously, we're not in the beginning phases. I'm trying to figure out why. Why is my phone ringing? Hey, okay, got very rudely interrupted by the pharmacy. Anyways, so like I was saying, no answers yet, but maybe soon, who knows? So I don't know if I mentioned it on the blog for the karyotype test. Only my blood's been taken so far. Um, and we're waiting to see what the results are. If mine are normal, obviously we're gonna test Anthony. If mine are not normal, I don't know if we still test you. I don't know, I thought it was weird that we both didn't just get tested at the same time, but they were like, it's a really expensive test. I'm like, I'm aware of that, but do you know how much money I've spent already? Like, let's just get this over with. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted when those results come in 